Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. You guys know the drill, manga shopping time, but this time with a twist, we are also going to go for some stationery for back to school, so let's get into it. <laughs> Okay everyone, so we just arrived and I bolted straight to the magazine section and I found this kind of shoujo magazine. It was 20% off. I recently have been really into these shoujo magazines, so I was so happy when I saw that they had one that I did not have yet, so yeah. Then uh, around the corner is the manga section. Here is the Japanese manga section. I don't really read Japanese like at all, so... I don't really get volumes from this series from this section unless there is a certain series that has not been published in English. Um, yeah, they have a lot of One Piece, Demon Slayer, a whole bunch of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Here are there are more kind of highlighted Japanese volumes and art books. This Tokyo Adventure book caught my eye. It it has like a hard cover, which is like very interesting to me. It was quite pricey. I think is it like is it like a postcard book? Is it like an art book? I do not know. Here is their LGBTQ section, and it it's pretty tiny, but it was there. Um, I saw the Apothecary Diaries Volume Three, so I snagged that. Even though I don't have Volumes One and Two, um, I read those online. I need to get them at some point, but I just felt like grabbing Volume Three. Here we see Life Lessons with Urumichi Onisan, a man and his cat still has the misprint on Volume Five. I don't know why it has a misprint. Like, please let me know. We have Bleach, um, then we have like the card captor Sakura, a lot of Chainsaw Man, they had some Demon Slayer, and then here is their light novel section. I don't really read light novels at all, but I know some of you guys are into light novels, so I always make sure to check it out. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations. The Overlord light novels looked gorgeous, I will say. I wish they had black pages for like the Death Note all in, like the Death Note, like black editions, I think that look really cool. Here in more manga, we have Fire Force, Dr. Stone. I really need to check out Fire Ren. Okay, I really, really need to. We have Go For It again, Nakamura, and Golden Japanesque. I've heard so many good things about this series, and the artwork literally looks beautiful. I really need to get it. I also saw The Great Pretender, and I did not know there was a manga for it, so that was pretty cool to see. I saw the Paradise Kiss kind of omnibus that is literally so giant. There's also Rent a Girlfriend. Um, I don't know if it's a good series. Let me know. I also saw this um, running manga. I know it's not, it's like only volume one is out and I know it's not like a relatively new series since this came out like a month ago, I want to say, or two ago. And I think it's really cool that there is like a prosthetic leg involved with the main character. So yeah, here is their H section. So there was like some Hunter Hunter and then moving past that, there was some Imakoi. I hear some good things about that series too. I'm not much of a romance in terms of manga. I tend to prefer more action series, but yeah, there's also Jujutsu Kaisen and Kaguya-sama Love is War. But going below that, it's Komi Can't Communicate. I cannot, I cannot believe they're already in the 20s with that series. Like that series comes out so fast. Like I am in awe of how fast that series comes out. I also saw this series. Um, I have never seen this before. I don't know if it's new. It's probably not because I don't know. It seems like I always pick out series that are not new. <laughs> but yeah, the art really caught my eye and I think it's really gorgeous artwork. I saw this like laid back camp. Um, I hear a lot of people absolutely love this series. What is it about? Please let me know. Is it worth getting? Because I see so many people love the series and have so many figures. Um, I saw Mob Psycho. I love Mob Psycho. I really need to get the manga at some point. I'm kind of hesitant towards getting it since the art style is not the best from what I've heard. Um, we have this series which has been recommended to me by my friend. I did not end up picking it up this time, but I definitely need to pick it up next time. Recently, I've been really into, uh, the Katarina Clays. I've been going through Katarina Clays brain rot, so they didn't have any of the volumes that, uh, I needed necessarily, so that was a bummer. But going below that, there's just Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Editions, Tokyo Avengers, Tokyo Ghoul, we have Vagabond, Witch Atelier, another series that I need to read, my friend recommended it to me, and I really need to read it because it looks so beautiful. This wand dance misprint was horrible. Here is their hardcovers or kind of some of their more oversized volumes like Hell's Paradise, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, 
Then they also have some other series like the quintessential quintuplets. The spines for that series look really nice. I really enjoy it. There is so much Orient. Like, when did that happen? Why is there so much Orient? But yeah, I was. I have no idea what the quintessential quintuplets is about. It's just the spines are always really pretty. There is this severely jacked up uh, wrapping on the Promised Neverland volume. And yeah, overall they had some really nice volumes. Uh, yeah. Then here we have Spy Family, So I'm a Spider, So What, another great series. There's this other series called Spy Classroom. I don't know what it's about. Um, I remember seeing it on TikTok like quite a while ago, but I don't know if it's any good, so I did not end up getting it since I have not done my research on the series. They have more popular series highlighted like Demon Slayer, and here is their art books or their illustration book section. Thank you guys for telling me what that uh, Play It Cool Guys art book was. Um, I ended up getting it from Bai, so I'm excited for that to show up. Uh, some art books really caught my eye like this one. And then you guys will see in just a second, this art book, what the, this is so beautiful. I do not end up getting it because I do not know the artist. Please, is there a manga? Let me know. I need to know. Like, I, please let me know. Is there a manga? Who is this artist? Is, do they have figures? I need it so bad. Please let me know. <laughs> yeah, they just always have so many art books. And moving on to the stationery because back to school is coming up, sadly. And I have, I need school supplies. So, um, yeah, I ended up, okay, excuse my shaky camera, my hands are full, um, but I got a, one of these blue highlighters since I love them so much. I went to the Copic section since I adore Copics, and I got some, a couple of Copics, you know, to add to my collection, because why not? They also had a huge variety of these notebooks. They were pricey, but I was absolutely in love with them, so of course I picked a few up. <laughs> I also saw these campus notebooks and I really loved how they had like little animals on each of them. There were porcupines and birds. That was so cute. I was dying. They were adorable. I love them. Ah! Okay, here's kind of more of their stationery. They had a whole bunch of really cool washi tape. I highly recommend Kinokuniya, not only for manga and anime merch, but also for stationery. They have the coolest stuff there, I kid you not. They have these really adorable staplers, like look, it's a hedgehog and a squirrel, that's so cute! Um, yeah, sadly they didn't have everything that I was looking for necessarily for back to school. I did get a couple of things. These clips were really cute, I was dying, they were so cute. They also had a whole bunch of these arts and craft like felting things and a whole bunch of origami paper if you were into that. They also had these kind of like little sticky note tab things. Yeah, uh, my handwriting's too big to write on that so that would not work for me. They had these really tiny colored pencil sets that caught my eye like look how cute they were. I did not end up picking one up. I used to have one of these ages ago but it's so cute how it comes with a mini eraser and pencil sharpener like that is adorable like i was dying these were so cute so yeah i, I was literally hung up on them as you guys can tell moving on i went to this rack of shikishi boards on this rack they tend to have more of their sale items which is what those blue tags are and they also tend to have like a lot of shikishis and more paper goods on this rack at least um, I didn't see anything that caught my eye, but I also saw these Haikyuu plushies, and we have Hinata and Kogiyama, and they are so adorable. So of course I had to stop and ooh would awe of them. Moving on, I was looking at some of the figures. They had a whole bunch of Jujutsu Kaisen figures and Naruto prize figures. Um, they also had some of these lookups, and uh, they had they even had like a quarter scale bunny figure, and that was very surprising since. Yeah, I did not even bother looking at the price because I know that was going to be so expensive. I saw this case closed, uh, Kiposuke, and that made me think of my friend since she loves the series, so yeah. Here is some of their merchandise. There is this adorable Spy Family blind bags. There uh, were these Hitorejime My Hero blind bags. There's Dr. Stone, Fire Force, literally. Any like more mainstream series, you name it, they have it here. I can, they've just in, been expanding their blind bag section and I love that. I go to this Kino Kunia whenever I'm looking for blind bags and merchandise. So this is definitely like heaven if you love those. They had some JoJo's Bizarre Adventure super action statues is what I believe you call them. Okay, don't come for me. I do not know what you call them. So I'm just gonna go with that. They had a whole bunch of skate merch. If you want to skate the infinity, they have so much. They even had some Code Geass merch, which is always nice to see since I love Code Geass. 
Okay everyone, so I just got back from shopping at Kinokuniya, so let's get into the haul! Starting off with the manga, I got volume 3 of the Apothecary Diaries. While I don't have volumes 1 and 2, I am definitely looking forward to checking out this series as I have read volumes 1 and 2 online and I hope to get the physicals soon. The next volume I got was A White Rose in Bloom, Volume 2. I do have Volume 1 and I have not read it, I just picked it up recently, so I decided to pick up Volume 2. I believe this series does have a pretty slow release date, and this is my first ever GL and it is done by the same mangaka as classmates, so I am excited to check it out. Now moving on to the merchandise, the first bit of merchandise that I got was this Hitori Jime My Hero Can badge. I love the artwork. The next piece of anime merchandise I got was this Hell's Paradise keychain. I am so excited. The artwork is beautiful. I love how this actually has a keychain attachment rather than a ball chain as these are more sturdy in my opinion. Okay guys, I'm editing this right now and I realized that I forgot to add in this shoujo magazine that I picked up. Yeah, it was like $8. It's just the newest issue for September, so yeah. Now moving on to the stationery and kind of back to school supplies. While I didn't find everything I was looking for, I did find a couple of things, so let's get into it. Starting off, I found this uni highlighter. I love these so much. I have a pink one and I'm absolutely in love with it, so I picked up a uh, blue one. The next two things that I got are these two Copic Chow uh, brown Copics. Um, yeah, I got this one in E18, and this one is in E79, and I'm working on growing my Copic collection, so I'm doing that slowly but surely. Last bit of school supplies that I found at Kinokuniya that I ended up getting were these three notebooks, uh, spiral bound notebooks. Uh, these were quite pricey, but I decided to get them because the paper was such nice quality. I loved the size of them, how they're not big at all, they're the size of a normal composition notebook. And I also love how instead of having the metal spiral bound, these are just kind of like a silicone rubber material, so it will not unravel and damage in my bag. <laughs> Waiting on my front porch for me when I came back home was this wonderful package sent to me by the amazing people at Stationery Pal. Stationery Pal is a wholesale stationery website where it allows you to get really nice Japanese stationery for affordable prices. Right now they're having a back to school sale. Highly recommend checking them out. I will have the links to everything that I got in this package down in the description box, so make sure to go check it out. Here are some of the like extras they sent me. Like the packaging was so cute. The bubble wrap had like little hearts on it and like look at this confetti like I was just in awe of how beautiful everything was. The first thing I was opening up here is this adorable tote bag. Such good quality especially for the price like I'm totally going to be using this for my lunch and when I go back to school like this is going to be the perfect bag since I only need my laptop these days and some stationery. Moving on, like I was, just, I had to stare at this package for like five minutes, guys. It was so, so beautiful. But the first thing I'm opening up here is this adorable bear plush with like a little mask, and he has a brownie face. He is so cute. I definitely am going to be putting him on my back to school bag. Like he is so cute. I also got this really adorable rabbit. I love this rabbit. I love like the little neck frill and like the little bow. <laughs> Then I got this really cool glue stick. Uh, I normally always use the Elmer's glue, glue sticks, but those are really stinky to my nose. Um, yeah, they're very fragrant, and I really enjoy the different shape on this one. I thought it was really nice, and it also does not have as much of a pungent stench, which is very much appreciated. I also got this really nice whiteout, which is like super sleek looking, like. Oh my goodness, and it works. It's literally like butter. It is so smooth. My experience with whiteout is that it gets stuck and then I have to like fix it and then it gets stuck again. It's just a pain. Then on their website, they also have these really amazing Sanrio and like Hello Kitty and Friends mystery pen blind boxes. And they were kind enough to send me three of them. So I got Hello Kitty, Pom Pom Purin, and Cinema Roll. How cute. I also got this really adorable keychain for my pencil case, and yeah, here is a set of pens that they sent me. Like, there are so many colors, they are gone so smooth, I love them so much. They are really interesting because they're not quite like 
they're kind of like a gel pen and like a felt tip pen in terms of how they work. It's very interesting, very cool, highly recommend. This was something that really caught my eye on the website that I had to grab and it is this ceramic paper cutter. So it can cut paper, but it has like a tiny ceramic blade that you cannot see and that is perfect for me. So I'm totally bringing that to school with me. They sent me these really adorable stickers of these bear themed stickers. We just have normal bears and we have bears in space. How cute! They were also so kind enough to send me these kind of click pens. These are felt tip pens with gel pen ink. So it's really cool. I've never seen anything like this before. I love the colors. They are so smooth. I also love how adorable the patterns are on the outside of them as they each have their own pattern. This next thing is really cool in my opinion. It is this uh, Pokemon Woba Fett uh, glue tape. So it works like whiteout, but it is like similar to glue but it's like tape. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really cool and it works really well and I'm excited to use it. They also sent me a whole bunch of purple washi tape and this was like super affordable on their website. Like you guys have to check it out. They have such good prices for the quality that you're paying for in my opinion. Then I got a whole bunch of really adorable sticker flakes. Like I don't think you guys realize how much I love sticker flakes. Like. I love sticker flakes with a passion. And then I got these Tsumiko Garashi uh, sticker flakes. This is the, I believe, takoyaki theme. I love it so much. They also sent me these really adorable crates. Uh, I got the, I got one in yellow and then one in pink. And, and I'm just going to be storing my merchandise in these because like, look how cute they are. I'm like dying over these. Like how could, like, I need them all. I need all the colors. I need like, and they're stackable too, like hello? Like I need all of these, like so adorable. And the last thing that they sent me was this pack of mild liners. If you guys do not know what mild liners are, they're in my opinion, the world's best highlighters. They are so smooth. And I love this pack of mild liners they sent me. All of my mild liners are like dead because I use them so much, but they sent me this really wonderful pack of colors. So here's everything that the wonderful people at Stationery Pal sent me. Thank you guys so much for sending this wonderful package to me. Thank you everyone so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!